It's the best summer ever. These kids are amazing. They want to learn Torah. They love Torah. They want to learn about the land of Israel. They want to learn about what they can do for the Jewish people. And they're really, really some of the most amazing kids that I've ever met in my entire life. This is an incredible gathering of the nearly 1,000 high school participants in NCSY summer programs who are here in Israel this summer gathering together for an evening of music, of inspiration, of camaraderie, of achdut, to learn together, to be inspired together, and to feel the passion of a summer in Israel together. This summer, I'm a counselor on Yad Biad. Yad Biad is the Yachad NCSY summer program, and it's an inclusive summer program, and all of our participants, we have high schoolers and Yachad members and participants from all over the world. And we all come together to really just make new friends and real friendships that last not only for the summer, but that go beyond just the summer and last throughout the year on Shabbat Tonim, on reunions, on Sulchas Torah. And it's, it's not just the summer, it's, it's a lifetime. So we toured Europe for two weeks and then we toured Israel for two weeks. Um, and um, in Europe we learned a lot about um, anti-Semitism there and how it's very hard to um, experience Judaism there. Um, and then we shifted to Israel where we could embrace our Judaism and feel proud to be Jewish. Um, and it was definitely really different. Like in, in Europe, we had to cover our like we had to cover like boys had to cover their kippahs. Like we couldn't we couldn't show that we were Jewish because of like our surroundings. And once we came to Israel, like we embraced it. We were singing, dancing, absolutely incredible. Every NCSY summer program has a different thrust. Some of the kids are here mainly to learn. Some of them are here mainly to give. Some of them are learning leadership skills. Some of them are touring the country. All of them really are touring the country. And every NCSY summer program participant, it's about changing their life in some way. They should come back a more passionate Jew, a more connected member of the Jewish community after the summer than they were before the summer. This is my first time coming to Israel with a group on an organized trip. And this helped me realize how much I want to serve in the Israeli army. And Bezot Hashem, next time I'm, dra I'm getting drafted. And I'm trying out for Said Matkal for the special forces in Israel. And, Ko and Kola and the whole NCSY family helped me recognize the importance of a Jewish nation, a Jewish state, and why it's important for us to serve and give back to our country, even though we live outside of the country in New York. This is not necessarily an Aliyah-oriented program. It's to strengthen and inspire every single Jewish teenager. Many of them, that means they're going to ultimately choose to make Aliyah. For many of them and the majority of them, we hope it means that they're going to be a more connected and more passionate member of the Jewish community wherever they live as a result of their summer in NCSY. After spending this incredible summer in Israel, I can't help but get excited for when I'm actually going to make Aliyah. And it's an exciting process because it's not just me, it's, it's, it's the whole buzz, you know? It's not just me on the trip who talks about the idea of living in Israel and making Aliyah. Us together as a group, you know, we're making new friends, but we're also learning about what it means to live in Israel and to be in the land and to be a Jew in Israel. And I think it's a really incredible experience for all of us. It is the most incredible experience we've ever had in our entire um, life. It's really amazing. I mean, I can't believe it's already been a month since I landed here in Israel for the first time. And I remember landing on that plane. I, I didn't even know what to expect. And I was already tearing up because it, it's like I'm home, you know? And yeah. it, it, it only got better after that. It's unbelievable. Our intention is to develop a connection in a more deep way between every single high school teenager who's here this summer. A connection between them and the Jewish people, their Jewish community and their own Judaism, and a connection to the land of Israel, the people of Israel, and the state of Israel. That they'll be more attached, more connected after the summer than they ever were before the summer. So, so far on my trip, my favorite place that I've been to is the Golan, and it's really been an incredible experience. We stay in the Chispin, and just everything about it, the air, you could see the stars. I'm from New Jersey, and we hardly ever see the stars, and it's just really an incredible experience to, you know, be with Yachad members and with high schoolers and just really being able to see all these beautiful friendships be made in Israel that are going to go way beyond than just Israel. And we got to spend our first week 
amazingly in Chispin, and we look forward to spending the rest of our week next week in Yerushalayim. With everything that we see each day in the news about what separates us as a people, about division and friction and controversy, to me the most exciting part of Yom NCSY is to see a thousand young men and women all of whom are united by what brings us together rather than being separated by that which pulls us apart. These are a thousand young people from all kinds of different backgrounds, different parts of the United States and Canada, different backgrounds, some from yeshivot, some from public school, some observant, some non-observant. But as you can see tonight, all of them united in their love for Yiddishkeit, in their love for the Jewish people, and in their love for Eretz Israel. Picking with the best place in Israel is absolutely impossible. I love every bit and part of Israel. Um, honestly, if you haven't climbed Masada, do it. If you haven't rid a camel, do it. Do everything you possibly can, and that's kind of it. Uh, that, that's really one of those impossible questions. I don't think there, that you can't pick a best part of Israel. Israel, all of Israel is amazing. Um, and I, I found, I went to so many different places and I developed a unique connection to every single place yeah. that I went in Israel. I said to someone this morning after meeting with many of the programs during the day, in that amphitheater are a thousand stories of a thousand beautiful young people who are the future of the Jewish people. And it's just a magnificent thing to be able to bring them all together in one place and to focus on the Achdos Yisrael that they represent. My father is from Israel, so I heard a lot about Israel from him. But I don't think you can compare actually being here, seeing the land with your own eyes. It was very hard to know what to expect. And one thing that really, really amazed me in that um, I didn't expect as much because you hear about all the division between Jewish people and Israel is the unity that I saw between exactly. Jewish people and Israel. It's amazing and it, it blew me away and it continues to inspire I, me. I, want, I wanted to expect something, but every single person I asked said, you'll see, and there's no expectations. It's absolutely wonderful, more than you can ever imagine. What it means to be part of an NCSY summer program means to be on fire. It means to be inspired. It means to be passionate. It means to take tremendous pride in all of your Judaism. But to be part of NCSY and to be part of the Orthodox Union means to be something more. It means a program that is open to all. Everybody has a part in this. This is everybody's legacy and everybody has a share in the energy and passion that you see behind me and in NCSY OU programs throughout the year. This is for everybody, for our entire community, and this is the result of such openness. This is the result of such energy and passion. Um, I, I think being here in Israel has made me realize I mean, you hear about, you hear all the time about how important Israel is to the Jewish people, but I don't think you can ever get that feeling until you're here and see it with exactly. your own eyes, how Israel turned a desert into an oasis. And that's what I'm going to take back with me. Israel is our country, it's home. And it's interesting because people usually, when they go away from where they live, they're homesick or whatever. But I think when I'm back in Canada, I'm going to be homesick for Israel. That's how I'm going to feel. The uniqueness of Masai Yudi, Jewish journey, is the combination of uh, education, informal education, and having the fun of tourism together. Combining the two aspects of education, informal education, with the fun and adventure experience, that's, uh, that's the way that you can catch and grab and teach the young generation of 2013. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we.